Hey everyone, one of the things I get asked all the time is what do I use for skincare? What do I use to wash my face? What products do I use to deal with my skin? And there's not a lot of change from the last time I did this, but I do have quite a few new subscribers for which I am extremely grateful. And I have added a few new products, so I thought this would be a good time, end of the year, to take stock and show you what I've been using. Just so we're all on the same page, I have a unique skin, well, to me, I feel like it's unique because it's been hard to find products that address this, but I have very dry skin. It gets patchy and flaky and um, not itchy, but just I can get go to lizard-like in a blink of an eye. But at the same time, it's hormonal and I get acne, especially cystic acne all along the chin, lower jaw area. Rarely do I break out on my forehead. Although there's one there right now. Anyway, so I thought I'd break it down into what I use in the morning, what I use in the evening, and then little extra things that I use to tweak my routine. So first thing in the morning, I uh, wash my face. And I use the same cleanser morning and night, and I have been using this for a while in YouTube world, at least a year, maybe two. It's the Murad Resurgence Renewing Cleansing Cream. Looks like that. I will list everything below. I use this because I asked Lisa Eldridge on Twitter what does she recommend for my skin type and this is what she told me. And um, she's right. I've never had a reaction to it. I, I, it just, it works for me. It says that it combats hormonal aging and concerns associated with dry and balanced skin. So ticks all the boxes for me. And I love it. I get mine at Ulta and you can also get it, I think it's Sephora. I know you can. I try to grab a few when I get a 20% off coupon. Just saying. Then I pat my skin dry and I've recently, this is a new thing and I'm really liking this and I've seen almost an instant improvement in my skin. It's the, again, it's a Murad product, Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. It does have 2% hydroquinone in it, which is I believe the highest that you can use that's over the counter. Um, my big concern other than the acne, which is an ongoing issue, um, is what's left over after the acne goes away, which is I don't necessarily get scarring and that there's a three-dimensional aspect, but I get a redness left behind. And this has helped tremendously in fading those old acne, let's just call them scars for what it's worth, fading those, so love those. Put that in, just one little pump, it's a very tiny amount, put it mostly here down, a little bit on the forehead, across the face like that, wait a minute to soak in, and then I follow with the Michael Todd Anti-Aging Facelift new you cream and I have bought a gajillion I think this is my fourth third or fourth jar and I have three more on backup I ordered these from different social websites where you can get a group deal on them so I think this normally retails for $150 and I have never paid more than 25 so it tightens my skin it firms my skin it helps with the um, dark spots it really does although it doesn't say that it does and I feel like it my uh, face has broken up much less since I started using this so on that goes and then the last thing that I do and I am just bought tub after not tub but bottle jar of this is the CeraVe AM facial moisturizing lotion it also has a sunscreen SPF of 30 I never walk out of the house during daylight hours without this on um, I do about three pumps of this all over my face eyes under eyes, everything, neck, chest, sometimes four pumps. I love this. I'm out in extreme sun, probably nine months out of the year. I've never had a sunburn on my face. I don't even get color on my face. Nothing happens to me. So the SPF is definitely working. It doesn't react with my skin. And this does say it's for normal to dry skin, I should say, in here. So, and I just love it. It is especially important to use, it's always important to use an SPF on your face. It is especially important when you're using a lightening serum like this. So that is that, that's the morning. Evening, started off with makeup wipes, which of course I forgot to bring with me, but I have always used, not always, but for a very long time I've used the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. My particular favorite are the hydrating ones. I like a very moist, wet towel. To, or tell it to take off the makeup. I use it for my eye makeup, I use it for my whole face, and it's just that first level of cleansing that is not enough, but it is a good start. Then I follow up with the same Murad, about a pea size amount, really rub that in and all that stuff. Then I only dry off my eyes, 
and I have been using this for about two months. It's this tiny little bottle and I'm up to here. So there's still this much left. Every night I've been doing this and my skin texture has changed dramatically. It is the Amor Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. I've mentioned this in a favorite. It's a water activated enzyme. It's a tiny little powder. I put about a dime, si dime sized amount in my hand, put my finger under the tap, drop like one little bit of water in there, rub it together and put it all over my face. I avoid the eye area. I rub it in for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Then I rinse. My skin feels like like velvet. It's just, it's amazing. It's smooth. It's refined the texture. I feel like anything I follow up with it afterwards goes on so much better. I love this. It is expensive. I think it's $60 for the ginormous jar. So I'm just going to keep on using this and a uh, little deluxe size. And I think of the whole line though, this might be the most expensive product. Everything else looks amazing, but like a hundred dollars. So probably won't be exploring any more products from them. Then I follow up again with this. And um, evening time, I use the CeraVe PM version. This has all the great stuff like ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, three, four pumps, just all over and all over my eyes. Now you might be asking yourself, where's your eye cream? I have 8 billion samples of it. Once in a while I'll remember to use some. Honestly, I just don't really feel like there's a need for a, a separate eye cream. My moisturizers seem to be doing the trick. I really can't tell what an additional eye cream would do. Maybe I'm naive and ignorant, I don't know. Um, but I've never really used one consistently more than three days in a row. So uh, unless you can tell me something that's worth the $100 and up that these things seem to be, I just, I don't know, haven't really felt the need to use an eye cream. So if you know of one that's just really amazing, let me know though. I'm always, I'm always open, but I can't promise you I'll run out and buy it. Now there are a few extra things that I use, um, not on a regular basis. One of those, which I really do like, but I found that when I was using it every day, my skin got a little, almost, it got a little sensitive. It's the Clarins Bright Plus. Now that they, they're calling, they did call it, I think the Gentle Renewing Brightening Peel. Well, I know they called it because that's what it says right there. It's also known as the Toner. They've changed the name. I'll put a link to the product below um, or go on the Clarins website. It was marketed as one thing in the US, another thing over in Europe, but I think they're combining it into one thing and now it's like the brightening toner, but be that as it may, it's a very gentle chemical exfoliator. When I do use, it's an alpha hydroxy acid. When I do use this, I take a cotton pad, I you know put a little bit on and I do everything. Eyelids, like the whole face. I've never had a major issue until I started using it every day, morning and night for weeks on end. So I only use this maybe three or four days a week in the evenings, especially if I feel like I've had really heavy makeup on and just really wanna get that cleanse. And when I do that, I do it after I'm done washing my face. I would never use it in conjunction with this, however. That's just too much enzymatic action going on in my face. So sometimes in the morning, whenever, just kind of when I feel like it. Now, when I have gone overboard and my face feels inflamed or dry, itchy, red, especially if I had just a massive breakout, which happened recently, had a little issue with a little too much Retin-A and my face went crazy. I picked up this uh, stuff from Murad. It's the overnight soothing gel for red irritated skin. It just does what it says right on the package. It says to apply evenly over a clean face, wait until it's totally dry and then go to sleep. Wait till it's dry because it's green and you would get green stuff all over everything. But um, you know, skip a moisturizer. You, you wash your face, put on whatever toners, serums and what have you and then put this on. Frankly, when my face is that irritated, all I do is um, I'll get Cetaphil cleanser, which I didn't bring with me either, but um, I'll list that and then just follow up with this and no moisturizer or anything. It's just basically, it feels, I don't know what's in here. I've since lost the packaging, but packaging insert, but it feels like putting aloe vera gel on your face. It's very, just tones it all down, brings down the redness, it's cooling, it's all that, all that good stuff. Now. When I do break out, which doesn't happen all that often, but it seems like when it does, it's like not just one, but many. There are a few different things that I use to treat them. So if I have like an all over problem and they're not huge and annoying, but I can kind of feel like they're coming up and I want something like a little bit gentler because I'm using it over a large area of my face. My go-to thing is the, um, it's by Neutrogena. It's called the On The Spot Acne Treatment. 
This is a brand new tube. I've bought many, 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 many of these. And in fact, I now, my son has been using this every night, just all like a whole, like he takes about, runs it from here to here, puts it all over his face, cleared up his face like overnight. Um, this is wonderful. Love, love it. Available at drugstores, easy, easy. Um, if I want to have like a powerhouse, if I have a monster mega zit and I just want to dry that sucker up fast, uh, and I'm not so concerned about the after effect, which is the zit will dry up, but my face will be incredibly dry. This is for a targeted area. I use the, um, it's by Acne Free. It's the Severe Line Maximum Strength Terminator 10. I've mentioned this before in a video. And this stuff works, but it will dry your skin out like nobody's business. What I especially like this for, it's benzoyl peroxide, it's 10%. It's kind of gross, but I'm gonna go there. After the zit has healed, but you still have like, kind of like a scab, and it's still three-dimensional, and it will not go away, put this on the scab, it dries the scab off, and the scab up, and the scab will fall off in the morning when you wash your face. Kind of gross, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had that problem. And then the newest thing, I've been hearing about this all over the internet, we've all seen all the reviews, is the Glam Glow, the one I tried was the Super Mud. And um, I've tried it a couple of ways, and I'm gonna tell you how I like it. I was uh, sent this to review. I was highly doubtful about its efficacy. I used it as an all over face mask. I took a picture of myself and put it on Instagram. It's mud, it's like, you know, I mean, it's messy and it's muddy. You open it and it comes <laughs> this, and it's just, it's goo, it's mud, it's fun. It's like your classic, um, mud mask. You put it on, it's like a dark gray, it lightens to a light gray as it dries, it tightens everything up. If you have really oily skin, this is fabulous as an all-over thing. I do not have really oily skin, and I really didn't see a huge benefit from putting it all over my face. But what I do like it for is for spot treatments. Um, that's a little more gentle than this, and um, a little more powerful than that. This is like my, my just right kind of stuff. And I've been using this to spot treat uh, blemishes, pimples, what have you, as they come up. Now, my son and my husband uh, would be great candidates. They have oily skin. I've not been able to talk them into trying this all over their face, but I'm going to keep working on them. Now, I know this is normally ridiculously expensive, and I would not show this to you unless I had a coupon code for you, which I do, which I'll put in the description box below. It's for 30% off. It's good through the end of January, I believe. So uh, if you have a little holiday money that you would like to blow, then pick this sucker up. I also was sent um, two other Glam Glow products. One is an under eye mask brightening thing that's really fun to use. And um, I used the morning before I had a photo shoot and I did notice that my eyes looked brighter. And they have a tingling mask, which I have not yet tried because my skin's been acting up and I just wasn't ready to keep experimenting with skincare products at this time. But that discount code is good for all the Glam Glow products. So if this is not up your alley, then try one of the other ones. And um, they're, they're really fun. They're fun to use and they do work. So anyway, that is everything, which I feel like is quite a lot. And um, I, it's been working for me for the most part. If I can just get my thyroid under control, then everything will be perfect. Anyway, if you have any products that you think I just must add to my collection or check out or substitute or what have you, I learned so much from you, so please let me know in the comments below. And I just wanna add one last thing regarding comments. I'm still having a ridiculous amount of difficulty responding to some comments. Even though you can post for some reason, certain comments I can't respond to, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. I have no idea what is driving Google+. So if you send me, um, if you ask me a question here on YouTube and you don't hear from me in like a day or two, Find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, shoot me an email. I really strive to answer every legitimate question that somebody asks me. Um, you take the time to watch my video, you take the time to put something down and write me a question, the least I can do is answer it. So if you don't hear from me in a couple of days, please um, find another way to contact me and all that is listed below as well because I do wanna answer you if I can. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.